Imagine climbing a ladder that reaches into the clouds. It seems insurmountable. And similarly, in the realm of nonprofit work, fundraising for donations can often feel like an endless ascent with no guarantee of reaching the top. However, imagine if you had a special tool, a mechanical lift integrated into your ladder. Suddenly, what appeared to be a steep climb transforms into a manageable and even achievable journey. Today, we're learning all about a magical ladder, the ladder of fundraising effectiveness. It's an age-old model in nonprofit fundraising where each rung represents a traditional method of fundraising, starting from the broad, somewhat impersonal, and least effective methods, climbing up to the highly personal and incredibly effective. So let's explore this fundraising model and see how each step up can bring us closer to not just meeting, but exceeding our fundraising goals. At the base of the ladder, we find media, advertising, and the internet. This foundational rung serves as a broadcast platform to the world. It's our way of amplifying our message and reaching individuals we might never have engaged with directly. Unfortunately, this is the least effective form of fundraising. It's a bit like trying to hug someone through a screen. The intent is there, but the personal touch, not so much. Now, having a robust online presence and securing media coverage play pivotal roles in casting the spotlight on your mission. But it's not wise to put all our fundraising eggs in this basket. Now, optimizing your website for SEO or search engine optimization, optimizing any Google ads, this can all help drawing in supporters that are actively seeking to connect with causes like yours. But in addition, I always suggest having an email sign up form front and center on your website. And we're going to discuss why in a second. But just remember, while digital platforms can amplify our call to action, more fruitful fundraising lies in gradually transitioning them from broad broadcast to intimate conversations and relationships. Moving up, we encounter cold calls, so unsolicited emails and letters as well. This is the second least effective method of fundraising. In fact, I would argue that in the new digital age, the cold requests for support are even less effective than the internet. The key to elevating the effectiveness of cold outreach lies in meticulous research and personalization. Before making a call, sending an email, or mailing a letter, invest time in understanding your potential donor. Use available data to tailor your message, making it relevant and as compelling as possible. Progressing further up the ladder, social media takes center stage. When approached with intention, social media becomes a dynamic tool for fundraising. By creating compelling, informative content and fostering active engagement, we can cultivate a community of supporters deeply connected to our cause. This rung represents the transition from broadcasting to engaging. If done right, social media can be an effective fundraising strategy, so be sure to keep an eye out for a new online course on becoming a professional social media fundraiser in just 14 days that should be out this spring. And I'll come back and I'll add a link to this video when it's live. Moving on and up. Special events, which are pivotal for drawing in new donors and bolstering support. So whether it's a gala, charity run, or a cozy community bake sale, each event is a special invitation to see, feel, and become part of something bigger. Nearing the top and the second most effective fundraising method, we find email and direct mail campaigns to your current supporters. So unlike the cold calls or emails, it's less about shouting from the rooftops and more about cultivating that relationship. So remember that email sign up form on our website that I mentioned? The key here is to bring donors in closer, getting them familiar with our nonprofit, which greatly increases our fundraising results. By leveraging the lower rungs of our ladder, we can continuously enrich our email and direct mail list with fresh contacts who have already begun to engage with our cause in more meaningful ways. This integrated approach ensures that our messages not only reach a wider audience, but does so in a way that invites deeper, more personal connections, securing its place as a highly effective form of fundraising. Then we reach the very top of our fundraising ladder and the most effective fundraising strategy, and that is personal face-to-face -face calls and meetings. This is the gold standard of fundraising. So imagine the difference between receiving a generic birthday card in the mail or a personalized cake delivered by a friend. That's the leap we're talking about. If I had to put all my eggs into a fundraising basket, this would be the basket. In the last few videos I've done, I've talked a lot about the power of personal connection and how to create it. So make sure to subscribe and I'll list a few of those videos in the description. So with that, we have reached the end of our climb on the nonprofit fundraising ladder of effectiveness. We have a video coming up next on how to ask for donations when you get that face to face. So 
So drop a comment and share your experience, your successes, and even your stumbles. Climbing the fundraising ladder may not require physical fitness, but it does demand strategic finesse. So whether you're taking your first steps or you're halfway up, every climb is an opportunity to reach new heights. See you next week.